Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Better Minecraft. Guys, in today's episode, we are going to defeat the Void Shadow. We need to go do that, and then we also need to make a sugarcane farm, because we are out of paper. So, we're going to be doing that, and I will see you guys when we get into the end. Okay, so, supposedly with this Void Shadow boss... Um, I just had a couple, a little bit of research and found out that it's actually not that hard to defeat. And this is how we're going to get our, our pet dragon. So what we got to do is right click on the blocker here that's invisible, the void portal. And then from there, we should be sent to the actual boss. The boss is long and tedious, but I'll show you guys how to actually defeat him. So here is the thing. There is the boss right there. Nice and pretty, beautiful band. So, what we gotta do now is wait for him to spawn these little minions. Which are gonna be these guys right here. All these dudes. Then, with these, we let them chase or pretty much chase us. We have to wait for him to shoot at us. Once he shoots at us, there's these little crystals that spawn. These things right here. So look. Wait for them to come up close to us right here, and then we have to... Oh my, okay, hold on. Are you serious right now, bro? Okay, well... A few moments later... I thought it was supposed to be easy. That's not easy. Okay. So this is what I was saying. You spawn these little minions, and you wait for them to shoot at you, and you have to destroy these crystals. See how I did damage there? That's pretty much all you gotta do over and over and over until... you get to the bottom. And I did not mean to do that. But now we gotta wait for him to spawn everything again. And there is the blindness. We're gonna have to be doing... It's a slowness. That's what we're gonna have to do. So we just have to wait for them to shoot us. If they get close, there you go. We got that one. And now we just gotta repeat the process over and over again. Which is great. While destroying these. So that we don't... Get slowness from them. Should be pretty easy to do this though. I'm not too worried. We did die, but that's okay. I didn't expect these to do so much damage. These guys right here. I gotta destroy all these in order to get the crystals to spawn. I believe. If they spawn any second now. Now we just gotta wait. Wait for him to spawn the thing. This is very tedious and boring because we might not have enough uh, golden apples for this. Alright, now we gotta wait for them to hit us. Come on. Come to Poppy. There you go. There's another one. Let's go to this one now. So we're gonna run a time lapse here and I'll see you guys when we get him down to like maybe a quarter health. Because I don't want you guys to watch this whole thing of me just doing the same process over and over and over. Okay, guys, I am back. So that took a while, but we are pretty much almost there. These guys are flying now, which is a little weird. Look at them. 
So this should be it. This should be the last round right here. As long as they shoot at me. Okay, there's one. We got one more. I think we only need one more. Oh. Okay. Now we should have killed the rest of these. I don't know how he died. Oh my god, these guys do so much damage. It's insane. Okay, we don't want to die by them. Now <laughs> imagine dying by the minions. Okay, we just got to shoot them. I got to keep running around and make sure I don't... Does this do any damage to them? The scepter? So there's damage, decent damage, I guess, but not really. We're just going to keep bowing them. Should be it right here. Alrighty, let's go. We got it done. The Void Shadow. What do we get? We get a Shadow Chest. Alrighty, what do we got? Five Ender Pearls, Beat Root Seeds, Diamond Helmet, Bottle of Enchanting, Knockback 3, Luck of the C4, Band of Etherpod 6, Frostwalker 3, and a Source Stone. With the Dragon Egg. There's our Dragon Egg. Can we break this by any chance? No, you can't. Well, that wasn't that great of loot for the chest, but we got the Void Shadow done. Did it work for the end? It didn't. Oh, it got glitched. That is weird. Stand near it. After defeating the Void Shadow to hatch the egg, you can ride the egg dragon by blah blah blah. Okay. I don't know why this didn't give us the the items. It's weird. It is what it is, though. I don't know what the problem for that is, but we got fame in infinity, so. Let's get out of here. See where it spawns us. Okay, I guess we're back at... The Void Shadow will respawn in 33,714 30, ticks. So we can try to go kill him again to get the actual quest done because you get 20 levels, another Shadow Chest, and a Blast Amplifier. Because I'd rather get that done than not. But there is the Shadow Boss. We're back at spawn, it looks like. Where are we at? Here we are. Okay, let's go back to the house. Alrighty, we made it back to the spawn. We got to hatch this egg now. So if I did everything correctly, it says you stand next to it. What does it say? Defeat the shadow. You can ride the dragon using... Okay, after killing the void shadow, drop dragon eggs. Stand near after defeating the void shadow to hatch the egg. Okay, so we have to hatch the egg. We gotta build our dragon a little... Let's, let's do it up here. Stand near it. Okay, I'm near it. What does that do? Hello? Okay, well... The dragon egg... Doesn't want to drop. Let's put it back in our inventory. We will figure that out later. Let's, for now, let's just do this. Oh, I forgot. Now, this is right underneath the tunnel thing that we did. Let's get some dirt. And let's place a torch so we can get our egg back. Do that. It should fall. There's our egg. Alright, so now that we got the end done pretty much. Now what we're going to do is figure out how to do the egg. And then we also have to build a sugarcane farm. So I want to do that also in this episode because we are out of paper. So I'll be right back and I'll get the materials ready so that we can do the um, sugarcane farm. Alrighty guys, we are back with the materials. Also, while I was getting materials, uh, the source stone actually shoots like these things that were shooting at us. Look at that. It just goes and it's pretty cool. I mean, we can use this in one of the boss fights, whatever we fight next. 
Um, but we're gonna put that away and our ender pearls. So we get all the materials pretty much for this. Um, credit goes to uh, what's his name? More tings. I'll put um, like a screenshot on the screen right now. Thanks to that person for this easy, simple, automatic um, sugarcane farm. I'm not really good with redstone, so I decided to get um, a farm from somebody else. So there's the credit. Here's all the materials that he says that you need for the video. I'm going to build this out, and I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. I'll see you guys afterwards. Oh, what the what is that I think just spawned hold on a second hold on a second um I was enjoying enjoying that time lapse until this thing spawned what where'd he go I'm gonna kill him it's a summoner you interrupted my time lapse there's a summoner dead I bet this thing better not destroy my freaking houses. We got an achievement for it too. What a guy. Interrupting our time lapse like that. Alright. Back to it. Alrighty, so this is the sugarcane farm. This should be good enough for now. Let's get all our stuff back. And we got a quest for killing that summoner for disrupting us. We're just going to get 5 XP and a soul star. And I believe this is for another um, bosses of mass destruction uh, person, so... But this is pretty much it right here and if you can tell it just goes into here and once it starts growing you get the idea of it but that's pretty much it. it's pretty self-explanatory it looks really nice too we have to also make this look a little decent instead of the way it looks now what i'm gonna do is just add some sticks here and make a so it looks like it's actually supporting it doesn't look as bad So what we could do is make a couple of these and um, make like maybe three next to each other, three or four, just so we could have a bunch of sugar cane. Just because I feel like these are the simplest thing to build and they don't take that much time and they're pretty efficient. We should also put like maybe like a map or a banner or something here just because this looks kind of plain. Or I could texturize it and make this look a little better, but they also are just farms, so I don't need to overcomplicate it. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye